Hello Taurus, hi everyone. First of all, let me just say welcome to all of my new subscribers. I've had quite a jump in the last 24 hours. I really appreciate that. I really, really do. Thank you all so much. Thank you for watching. Thank you for creating activity on my YouTube channel. New to Tarot. No, you to YouTube, not new to Tarot. Um, so it does mean a lot to me. Thank you guys. So, current energy check as usual. My beautiful bulls. How are we? How are we? Oh... Some of you are still, you know, some of those of you that have not met not, not someone new yet, you still, um, it's still on its way and it's still showing up as a potential missed opportunity. So please do keep your eyes open. It's going to be something different, majorly different, but it's, it's everything that you want, but it looks different than usual. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So just keep your eyes open. Keep your eyes open and for those of you that have met someone new wow is this person like they can't get you out of their head and vice versa wow guys oh sorry don't mind me uh school on this morning the shitey weather was humidity but look you're starting again taurus you are starting again at the fool you are taking a leap and wow is it going to be a good one wowzers emotional fulfillment there's a risk this person if you've not found it yet it's a risk it is it's a it's an exciting one it's like oh shit do i do i do this yes you do and that's what and for those of you that are, have already met someone new this has got amazing potential like amazing 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 potential and that was because you took the risk because it didn't look and didn't feel as standard as, as or, you know your typical type or your typical setting or anything it was something different and it was a risk and it was like a it was a scary exciting one but it was good tell me about taurus's energy please spirit so yes place a sign in your birth chart anywhere you like so moon rising and venus of sign messages in here for you cross watch is always welcome oh, shot out. oh you shot out taurus queen of pentacles there you are holding shit down you are there's an energy here, you know, current energy, so past is a minute gone prior. Um, there's something recently that's been a little bit, a little bit heavier. It's now, now you're relaxing. I feel like you've, you know, there's a sigh of relief. Like, oh, I can chill now, I can relax now over something that's been, yeah, it could be a legal situation for some. For those of you that are going through a legal situation, you're going to come out abundant. This materialistic gain for some of you, you're going to receive money, there's going to be celebration. Wow, I love that. I love that. If it's not a legal situation, it's something karmic, Claire, like you deserve. And it's going to come in, in, either, in either in the money sense or the feeling of abundance. And But you are going to be celebrating. Tell me more, please, for Taurus. Oh, okay, nice. We've got the strength, Leo energy. So, yeah, you've had to be a bit strong, I think, recently. You know, something's been a bit heavier. Something's... You know, weighed on your shoulders, but now you are going to come to that point of the, you know, sense of relief. You powered through. You know, you powered through. And then we've got the two swords. Okay. Some of you are going to be coming to a crossroads with something. A decision needs to be made. You may not see this coming as of yet. Or some of you that do, you don't want to see it. Tell me more for Taurus, please. Thank you. Okay, the four of pentacles, the two of pentacles, and the chariot. Okay. Some of you this potential move in. You're gonna be you're gonna have a choice. You're gonna have you're gonna be weighing up your options. Never a bad thing, you're gonna have a choice. Um some of you you need to you're being told to hold on to your money because you are gonna be moving. There's gonna be some kind of movement, some forward movement here with the chariot card. Some of you, this could be travel. You could be, you know, traveling in a car. There could be something to do with a car here. Um, but you, you're being told to, like, hold on to your money because you're going to have something to weigh up. So we'll find out when we clarify. Oh, 
some of you are going to receive some some kind of money coming in quite soon I feel some of you this is going to be a job some of you are going to get getting a new job quite soon it's going to be you know it's going to be a blessing it's coming in as the ace of pentacles it's going to be something massive um some of you it could be more money some of you could be opening up your own business and that's going to go really well really well let's clarify Ooh, different reading today i'm seeing more pentacle and stability um Clarify. Still using this beautiful vice versa tarot deck. I'm still getting used to all the all the sides of all the cards. It's a beautiful deck that I love it. Let's clarify this energy, please. Oh, wow. Oh, shit. Sorry, guys. I just kicked the <laughs> Something is... Something, like, powerful. Wow. The Knight of Swords and the Ace... Of, look at this Ace of Wands. Something powerful. I feel like communication's coming. I feel like unexpected but powerful. It's going to be good. It's going to be exciting. Maybe unexpected, like, but it's like, oh shit, brilliant. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Something like, something like that. Tell me about this Queen of Pentacles, please, for Taurus. But this is a feeling that I feel like I'm strongly getting this is like if you're able to relax now. There's something here that you're able to relax with. Could be your money. You know, those of you that have, you know, been... Focused on your, on your money, on your pentacle at the moment. There's a feeling of being relaxed. Okay, we've got the King of Swords. Could be dealing with the Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Someone's watching you. Someone's watching you. I don't like who this is, though. See this? They're, like, they're literally watching you. Um, and I feel like they're pissed off. Someone's pissed off. Someone could be pissed off at your success here. We've got the Seven of Wands. Hmm. Could we deal with the fire sign? Aries, Leo, Sag. I feel like someone... I feel like someone wants to ruffle a feather or two. Because they see you at a relaxed state. <laughs> Honestly. Can we get a minute? Yeah, you're... You're at a state of feeling okay, content in some way, whether that be to do with your family, your kids, your home, your money. There's an energy of, oh, okay, can relax now. Someone wants to come and ruffle a feather so you're not relaxed. Oh, the Ten of Cups. This could be someone that you've, I feel like you've turned your back on this. There's, um, I feel like there's hidden emotion here. The Ten of Cups, this could be someone that you've had a family with, shared a home with, once viewed as everything. But there's like, I feel like them cups are in the past and you're up here now, you know, up here, solo, back to this person. Your back's to this person, but they're watching you. They see you like, it's, it's you're so spiritually protected, Taurus. It's like, you, you know, you're being just guided through life on this beautiful white rose and it's like you know someone's not necessarily very happy about that for those of you that have found someone else this is someone from the past and they don't like that you've moved on strength again could be dealing with a leo tell me about this strength card please for taurus honestly I called it someone's going to try and ruffle a feather three of swords Someone's going to try and piss you off. Oh, this is already someone that's broken your heart. They're coming in. Someone's... But I feel like someone's going to try and annoy you or piss you off or ruffle a feather, like I say. And this is purposely because they see you quite free and relaxed and content. 
in whatever in whatever situation that is, whether that is just with your job or whether you're in a new you know a new connection, someone sees you quite feel you know feeling quite content and they want to throw up, they literally want to put a sword in, stick a sword, stick a sword in there. I feel like you've been told to not rise. Yep, yeah, the hierophant. Stay the hierophant. Yeah. Wow. Honestly, guys, I don't even. I feel like I'm reading this before the cards even come out. So you're being told here to remain the hierophant. This is your energy. You're wiser than this bullshit. So just keep keep moving, keep walking, keep hold of that strength, that courage that you have. Don't let don't let someone trigger you. I feel like someone's about to trigger you. There's um someone is wearing a serious mask, guys. A serious mask. You see straight through it. You have done for a while. Um, you know there was a lot of emotion involved with this with this person in the past. You know you turned your back on that quite some time ago. This person hasn't, however. But it's like you're the hyphen. You're a lot wiser, a lot wiser than this. This was a high level of commitment for some of you, and you walked away from it. They're still feeling that pain from that. They like. They feel like you've done them over. In some way. Which was absolutely not the case. But because you left, that was you doing them over. Not don't matter what their actions were that caused you to leave. But because you left, you're the one that did you're you're the one that caused the three of swords. No. Nope. Tell me about this two of swords, please. You've been told to block this here. Okay. This could be a message coming through online. I've got the world here. But look how beautiful you are. Someone um Someone knows exactly how protected you are. You're spiritually protected, Taurus. Nothing can get to you. You're in the circle of protection. And you're looking absolutely stunning whilst in it as well. Stunning. Like, you're getting a lot of attention. People notice you a lot. There's something that you're doing online as well. Um, I feel like someone's being told a lot about this. And that could be annoying them. Someone's just trying to, you know... It's literally, it's pathetic. That's what I'm getting, it's pathetic. Someone's just trying to ruffle a feather just to possibly knock you off your game or, you know. Because you've, you're free. I feel like you're so free. You're happy, you're content, you're powerful on another level. Something that you're creating is, it's creating some kind of new cycle within your life. Someone, ref someone doesn't want to let you do that. That's what that's what I'm getting. Yeah, wow, the wheel, the world and the wheel. Wow. Like, <laughs> the five of cups. What? So, someone's devastated at what you're doing, how you're doing it, the success that you're going to gain from it. The, you know, so much universal energy is on your side here there's so much spiritual protection and there's so much divine timing divine guidance you are literally trusting your path you are following your path quite freely as well you're just going with it someone hates someone doesn't like that someone's very sad because it doesn't it doesn't include them it does not include them and it's like they won't see how beautiful and powerful you are because they're too busy focusing on the past and like i say they're blaming you blamer they're now being a blamer i don't feel like you're asked yeah, you're not even... Some of you that may feel this, sense this to a degree, or even know it, if you've already heard from this person, you just, oh, give over. I've got busy. <laughs> Move. I've got time for you. That's the energy that I'm getting. That's how you should respond anyway, as and when this comes in. Because I do feel like you're going to be hearing from this person. So as and when that happens, just be like, I'm sorry, I'm too busy for that shit. Grow up, will you? Tell me about very similar those of you that are dealing with the Scorpio, go and watch that reading. Because that was dead similar. You know, that was a lot of grow up. Tell me about this four of pentacles, please. Or have Scorpio in your birth chart. You know, do some cross watching, explore your birth charts. Yeah, there's something to do with the home here. I feel like some of you are going to be moving home. You need to be holding on to your money. Um, there's also a relationship, a commitment here that you are being told to hold on to. So someone could try and so those of you that have started a new relationship. Someone could possibly come in and try and, again, ruffle a feather, talk some shit, tell some lies. Try and come in the, in the middle of it. Try and come in between it, whoever this person may be. Um, because they see the potential, they see you, wrote, like, they literally see you going off into the sunset celebrating, like, yeah. And it's it's away from them. 
you're being told to hold on to this. Don't let this go. Don't let this connection go that you've got. For those, for others of you that have not met anyone yet, um, this is, you know, you're, a lot, you're on the right path. 11-11, you're on the right path. You are literally, like I just said, you're following, you're trusting the process, you're trusting the universe, you're trusting your guides, and you're being told to keep, you know, keep doing that. Hold on to that thought process. I mean, that'll apply to all of you, I'm, I'm assuming, but... Also, this is about something about home as well. I do see some of you moving. It's a good thing. I see it, you know, it's a good move. It's a very good move. Time off because, yeah, wow. The Fool and the Five of Pentacles. So someone is gonna be, someone's gonna be approaching you. Like I've just said, honestly, someone's gonna be, you know, and I feel like it's, um, Look at the face on it. I can't really always focus with the this camera, but no, it's a bit like what do you mean? It's like they expect you to jump or to tolerate whatever this is, and it's like when you don't, when you when you literally don't, when you be like, just go away, will you? They're like, what do you mean? They're a little fool. I feel like this in this environment here they're a little fool and they know they're a little fool because they're feeling like this they're feeling poor they're feeling lost they're feeling abandoned and ghosted and it's like you could be dealing with someone younger if, it, if it's not younger than you then um you know there's a difference in mentality on a on a maturity level like they're very immature emotionally immature as well um yeah, look, look how strong you are. You're like, fight me, bitch. <laughs> look how you're like Queen of Pentacles there with them horns on your head. Like, you're you're not messing. You're powerful. You're very strong right now. Remember that. With the strength card here. Remember, remember who exactly you are. You know, you don't even need to rise to this person. You can just give them a look. Just literally look at them a certain way and be like... Yeah. And that's enough. That's enough of a response. Don't give them what they want. Don't get into this. You're too good to that. You're too good for that. You're better than that. Someone's gonna try and make you though. Someone's gonna try and make you. Yeah, keep your back to them, Taurus. Keep your back to them. You are better than that. Much be the Empress, you know? You don't this is playground shit. Tell you about those two of pentacles, please. You know, you're busy, you've got shit to do. You know, two of pentacles here, you're busy, you've got, you're managing shit, you're juggling your shit, your work, your kids, your home, your relationship, you, you know. You're getting your life in a routine, I wanna say, and someone doesn't like that. Someone does not like that. Honestly, this is pathetic. I'm sure they pissed me off yesterday. <laughs> I mean, you know, you know, people aren't always the same, and I'm, I'm, I'm one. You know, if you know, I'm happy, happy, but not all, not everyone's like that. I mean, even if you don't like the person, you don't have to wish them, you know, wish bad on them. It's like, you know, I wish you, I wish you health or healing. It's like I wish you happiness or healing, one of the two. And it's, this person is quite the opposite. Turn off this two of pentacles, please. Page of swords. So they're spying on you and or watching you, like checking up on you, trying to figure out what you're doing, what who you're doing it with, what you're up to, where you're going. Because they don't know and it's stressing them out. Because you're busy, like I say. You're just getting on with, you know, you're getting on with it. You're moving forward. Hell yeah. You're moving. And it's very determined. This person does not like it. One more for this two of pentacles, please. They're stressed out the tiny little minds. And I say tiny little minds, because it is tiny. We've got a lot of growing to do. One more for this two of pentacles. Oh, yeah. Some of you are getting a new job. Some of you are coming into money. Some of you have started some kind of brand new stability all for yourself. And it's amazing. Some of you are going to be moving home. I really, really, really strongly get that. This person is going to be seeing all this and they're real with it. They didn't expect you to do so well without them. 
in whatever aspect or you know that is whether that's just in work or whether that is a new relationship or whether that's all of the above home and everything someone didn't expect you to do so well it was like do you know what i mean and now they see you as a missed opportunity your ships are coming in taurus you know have peace have you know have a sense of peace knowing that because they are and people that have done you over in the past whoever this is they're stressed over it now and it's like you know it's i mean how do people not learn do you know what i mean like i don't fear karma i don't i welcome it same as tower moments i welcome tower moments because karma it's why would you fear it like i'm pretty sure i'm only do good karma so i don't fear it and tower moments it's like fine something's not right for me I can get rid so this person is the opposite they won't even talk about the word karma. They hear the word karma and their insides shudder. And I'm not surprised. Tell me about this chariot, please. Honestly, here they come. What did I just say? Look, here they come. And honestly, I keep repeating myself over this kind of shit, but um, they're coming in when you find new love. The Ace of Cups is here. But look, the Knight of Wands, straight to you, the Empress. They're coming in. And this message you're going to receive at night time and it's not going to be expected. You don't see this coming. You're not expecting it. You're not waiting for it. You don't want it. And that's the point. Those of you that are still wanting to hear from this person, that is just... Ugh. Their energy is manker. Um, don't even know what they look like. So, you know, they must have something going for them because their energy does not. Myself included, been there, done that. Do you know what I mean? I'm a Taurus son, so this resonates with me in a way. But you need to get to the point of not wanting and waiting for this. You need to, you know... This is coming. Oh no, it come out this way. This is coming. This is coming. And this is the light. This is the light. This is amazing. This is a cup of overflowing of emotion. Someone is like, you're going to be confused by it because someone is going to be like showering you, I feel. And you're not going to be used to that. And it's when you're caught up in this new love, when you completely turn your back to this, you know, this Knight of Wands from the past could be a fire sign. That's you need to that you know your forward movement needs to come into it absolutely you know you need to get in your chariot but they're out there those of you that have already put your turn your back to this and have started something new please just anticipate a message coming through possibly at night time um and it's unexpected it's shocking the words could also be harsh because i don't like the lightning and the fire around this but you know keep your back to it empress you are the Empress, male or female, there's no gender in tarot. You are the Queen of Queens. That's what I have for you, Taurus. Interesting reading. Hmm. Let me know if it was for you. Please like, share, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you all tomorrow for sure. Thank you.